All right, guys, we are back with our custom created NHL YouTubers GM mode, and we finally got done our first year with this team. So, once again, I was kind of hoping for high hopes and hoping to make a playoff run out of year one, but essentially with our overalls, I kind of knew that was never going to happen. But then again, if we looked at it, this team actually really didn't do too bad, really. If you look at it, there's no really big, huge like overall rated guys on our team. We have pretty much nobody over an 80 and like an 86 really on defense. And we still managed to, managed to finish the year 34, 41, and 7. It's it's actually a pretty good, decent year out of year one for this team. So we're going to do like a whole review, shall we? We'll take a look at all the awards, see if any of our guys won any sort of awards this year. We'll take a look at the playoff tree and all that stuff and get right into the draft. So... For the uh, NHL team, it looks like the uh, St. Louis Blues won the first year. It looked like St. Louis and Boston. It actually looks like it could be uh, something realistic. Not going to lie, Rangers and Boston in the finals. Yeah, I could maybe see that happening. Who knows? So that was there. And um, All right, so let's take a look at the awards. So Stanley Cup went to the St. Louis Blues. Uh, let's see. So President's Trophy went to Montreal. Clarence S. Campbell, St. Louis, Prince of Wales, Boston for a second year in a row. Art Ross went to Stephen Stamkos, Hart Memorial, Stephen Stamkos, James Norris, Drew Doughty, Lady Bing, Stephen Stamkos, Calder Memorial went to Jacob Markstrom, Con Smythe went to Ryan Miller, Vesna, Ryan Miller, so it looks like having Ryan Miller a part of the St. Louis Blues was uh, definitely a good thing for them. Uh, William N. Jennings went to Carey Price, uh, Bill Masterton, Robin Regeer, Frank J. Selfie, Pavel Dodsuk, Ted Lindsay, Steven Stamkos, Aris Richard, Alexander Ovechkin. So no, none of our players won anything there. Did any of our AHL guys win anything? Uh, let's see, just any players, did they win anything? Uh, Nyquist, Nyquist, nope, nope. We're looking for the Marlies. Anybody on the Marlies? Nope, nope, nope. All right, nobody for so. No, nobody on our team won any awards. That's perfectly fine. So let's get into this draft here, and let's just draft these players up. Like I said, drafting is not going to be a huge thing for us here, but we do have the third overall draft pick this year, so it should be definitely interesting to uh, just draft the player, get it over with, not going to be doing anything sort of special or anything like that. So Buffalo's going to take Muma. Uh, New York Islanders are going to take Cupper. So it looks like with our third overall pick, we're just going to take this nobody name. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Can it be? Are you serious? Can it be? It is. It's the one, the only, the Columbus Blue Jackets fan, the band, the myth, the legend, Nasher 61. Oh my goodness. Even though he's not really Canadian, he's being portrayed as Canadian here. Oh my God. And he's only, and he's being portrayed as a defenseman too. Holy crap, boys. I can't believe it. Who would have ever thought that Nasher would have been eligible for this draft? I didn't think he was going to be eligible, but it looks like he is. So I think I have no choice but to take him. I have no choice, boys. I have no choice but to draft Nasher 61 in the first round for our third overall pick. That is right. Nasher 61 is a part of the Toronto Chiefs. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Craziness has just happened. All right. So, I mean, the first round, that was epic. I mean, I don't think it can get any more epic than that. I mean, could there be an even bigger player there who we draft in the second round? I don't know. I mean, Buffalo took an Islander. I mean, that was a good pick as well. But it looks like, wait a minute. It can't be. Oh, my God. It's two, two out of two. I can't believe it. Two out of two. I cannot believe it. The one, the only. It's your boy, Bones. Here on demand. Bones on demand was also eligible. He's apparently also Russian, but that's fine because he likes to drink the vodka very much. Oh, my God. Bones on demand is also available for this draft. I guess I guess Nasher and Bones must have changed their minds at the last possible minute, and they are eligible to be drafted. Why well, can't say no, boys? There we go. We're taking Bones on demand with the third overall pick in the second round. That's That's... Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm speechless, boys. I'm speechless. Please don't tell me there's going to be any surprises in the third round. Please don't tell me there's going to be any surprises in the third round. Come on, don't tell me. Oh, okay. Whew. No surprises in the third round, looks like. So, uh, I guess we'll just have to draft somebody. Um, Aaron Hayden, maybe? I guess. I don't know. I don't know much about any of these draft picks. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's draft him unless there's like a goalie or something like that. Uh, no, I don't think so. 
Uh, no, it doesn't look like anything really that great. So we'll just take that guy then. We'll take Hayden. Why not? Quick skim up to the fourth round as well. See if there's anything possible that we can take. Any surprises in the fourth round, Brandon Ralph? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, da, 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 I don't think so. Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything special here. How about a goalie, just in case? Any goalies? Daniel Cotton, three gold stars. Three, gro three green stars, why not? And we'll auto-draft the rest. But oh my god, boys, what a draft. What a draft. We actually pick up Bones on Demand and the Nasher 61. I cannot believe it. Cannot freaking believe it. So we're definitely going to have to go check out their stats. This is absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, so let's get into draft, uh, get into re-signing these players, shall we? See if anybody made a jump yet as well. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Let's go for the goaltenders first. So it looks like we have to get uh, Richard Head re-signed. I'll be down with that. 67 overall still for him. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, no cap, whatever. So we'll just increase everybody's salary cap a little bit. Give them some more money. Know what I'm saying. Uh, Linus Ulmark, you can get the hell out of here. Uh, Daniel Cotton, eh, why not? I think I'll leave him unsigned, though. No, nah, he's actually 20 years old. Fine, we'll sign him. We'll sign him just because we can. And all these other guys, we will uh, leave un untapped. Viper and Alucard, still good. Smelly and Baking Country, all under control. All right, so defenseman. Let's check it out here. So Crazy Canuck needs to be re-signed. Still 64 overall. Let's increase these guys' money values up a little bit, shall we? J to the P30, same thing for him. Now let's get his uh, money up. There we go. And there, and uh, this Nielsen guy we can release. And uh, I think that's it. Yep, this uh, Aaron Hayden guy, why not? Three and a half gold stars. Why not? They're young enough, they can play with us as well. But there he is, boys. Nasher, 61, the man, the myth, the legend, the defenseman, four and a half gold stars, baby. All right, so let's get this guy signed, done, and did. Three years, let's get back. Let's, uh, let's, there we go. So Nasher, 61, part of the team, baby. All right, so I think that's it for defenseman. Indeed it is. Yui's up to an 80. Yeah, yeah Yui's up to an 80. Sully's up to a 78. All right, so that's good. Right wingers, uh, the slash guy we don't need anymore. Austin, we'll get him re-signed. We'll pump up his money just because he wanted to. There we go. Average pro, get these guys signed. They're all on two-way deals. Just increase their money word. Jake, let's increase him. And I think that's it. Uh, Hishog, this, uh, there he is, boys. Like I said, Bones on demand, the right wing sniper. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, audio troubles as usual. But there he is, guys. Bones on demand, the right wing sniper. 58 overall, 18 years old, four and a half gold stars. What more could you ask for, boys? What more could you ask for? There we go. Get Bones signed and done and did. And uh, nobody else really. Uh, just a couple weirdos that we have to get rid of eventually. But that will be taken care of. Uh, no left wing. Nope, nobody on the left wing. Centers, anybody on centers? Uh, yeah, we can release this guy. We don't need him. And uh, just the weirdo guys we picked up via the draft. And yeah, I think we're good. Centers, forwards, yep, we're all good, man. We are all good for resigns. Let's just keep moving on, shall we? Okay, guys, so we are back. Okay, the season is over and you're starting your second year. At the helm of the Toronto Chiefs, I'm looking for 83 wins from the team this year, so I hope the choices you made in the offseason can pay dividends. Go out there and win. Yes, sir. I shall do that. All right, so let's send out the scout, shall we? Uh, OHL goalies. Nah, we don't need to look for goalies. We need some uh, need some forwards. Get McDavid start to a scout Connor McDavid. Why not? He can maybe join the team. A lot of our, a lot of our players are friends with him, so why not? All right, so let's skip ahead here. 
And uh, let's check out the team, shall we, and see if there's been any really good progressions made for uh, player overalls. We'll have to see about it. All right, so let's start in the back end for goalie. So it looks like Bacon and Smelly still stayed at their uh, respected overalls. Bacon still at 84 overall. Smelly still at 78 overall. 19 years old, 32 years old for Bacon. So he's starting to get older in age, but... I mean, he's got a couple years left. I mean, he's still a pretty good, decent goaltender, if I must say so myself. So, goaltenders, nothing really changed for goalies. All right, so defensemen. Looks like we got Oway still stayed in 86. Yui jumped up to an 84, so our defensive core got better. Sully, my man, man, jumped up to an 82 overall. What a what a year for Sully, man. Sully has definitely gotten a ton better. Look at his shooting category. Oh, my God. He's, 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 he is one hell of a shooter now. Deking, he's getting the dangs, as it seems. He's got a good defensive category. Offense awareness, 99. Sully, my man, he's getting pretty good. That's what I'm talking about, Sully. All right, Superb Man leveled out at a 76 overall. So Johnny's not going to be getting any better, but that's fine. He's old. Uh, Halo Diego didn't change. I think Flop might have went up by a couple points as well. So defensive core is still looking pretty good. I mean, Sully's getting better is a huge boost. So now we have three really good defensemen. So maybe that will play a huge part in it this year. We'll have to see. All right, so right wingers. We got Tactics still stayed in an 80. Dobbs still at a 74. Studs went up one overall to a 70. And Tuber... Stayed at a 70 as well. So not much changing there as expected, guys. Like I said, in a couple more years down the road, we'll start to see some big jumps. All right, so Clappy got up to an 80. That's pretty cool. Savvy got up to a 70. Mold Gold 65. Kane six, uh, 56. So no big jumps yet for any of those guys. Centers. Uh, Deke, uh, Lamb Chops, Ooh, big jump for Lamb Chops, up to an 82 overall now. So his shooting category got a little bit better. His puck moving skills are pretty dang good. His defensive category is still getting up there as well. Got 85 for defense awareness, so that's good. Not the fastest skater, but he's a much better shot now. So it looks like Lamb Chops is here to stay on the NHL team now, which is good. Deke still at an 80, didn't get any uh, big jump as of yet. x tech still up to a uh, 72. He actually jumped up a couple points up to a 72, and Flash still at a 68. So no really big jump for any of our uh, team players yet. So let's go in the system, shall we? And uh, Richard Head still at a 68. He went up one overall. Uh, Cotton, yeah, Viper, Al Alucard, and Viper, I think, went up a little bit in their overalls. Not by much, but as expected because they're still fairly young. But now a lot of our players are in their 20s, so we will be uh, seeing how they do. So Crazy Canuck, only up to a 64 overall. He's still 19. He'll still be getting better. Dilsey up to a 63. J2P30 still at a 56. Uh, Cam had a huge boost up to a 66 overall. You know, in one year, only a couple games played, so maybe he can get up. Still has one more year getting better. McDonough up to a 61, and I believe that's it for defensemen. Right wingers. Uh, AJB up to a 58, uh, Average Pro 61, no change there, Flo Show, Matt Roberts up to a 67, Hebsky up to a 50, Jacob up 56, yep, Jojen 57, Austin up to a 66, UTP up to a 58, Z Crowns 54, Left Winger CHF 70, Cruiser 69, JLL 56, Royal, yep, yep, yep. So like I said, not many people getting their big uh, jumps. I'm still at a 63. So like I said, nobody's getting those big, big jumps yet. Because like I said, the uh, progression system in this game is stupid at some times. But you know what? If I look at the team, personally, I think we did get a little bit better. There are a couple players that did get a little bit better in overall. And you know, that could be all we need. Def goalie still stays the same. Defense got about better. Offense gets a little bit better. There are some players that got a pretty good boost. So we're going to have to see. Well, I actually never checked out Yui because he jumped up to an 84, which is good. So his defensive category got better. Still no sense his category. His physical category is out of control. His shooting's still one star, but he's a, still a really good skater and a physical player. That's what we need from Yui Bear, our enforcer. So that's what the team looks like now, boys. We're going to head into year two. We'll do the line setup in the next video. Leave your line suggestions down there. And uh, we'll get ready to start off year two. This could be our year, boys. This is what I'm saying right now. Year two is possibly the year for the Toronto Chiefs. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe as always. And we'll be back to start up year two with the Toronto Chiefs. Psst. Hey, you guys still listening?
Okay, that's why I thought you were still listening. If you watched the whole video, then you're probably still stuck around here at the end. So thanks, guys, for watching the video, as always. Um, but I just wanted to tell you about this little secret thing that I kind of wanted to do because of the draft and the thing that I wanted to do because of this video. So as you guys know, in the draft, we did draft uh, Bones on Demand and Nasher. But I just wanted to let you know, let you guys know what actually is going on with those two players what really their role is and how it's not really them, but it is them. But in any case, as you guys can see right here in my lineup, I have Nikita Sherbank and Aaron Ekblad. Really, essentially, I drafted both of these players, but I'm going to use them each as Bones on Demand and Nasher 61. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Uh, as you couldn't already tell by the probably shitty edits I threw into this into this video by overlaying their um, overlaying their name their names and uh, putting their logo actually where their face should be. So if you didn't already catch that, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. You should probably get a pair of glasses. But that's what I'm going to do for Nikita Sherback and uh, Aaron Ackblad. I'm going to use Bones on Demand and Nasher 61 to represent both of those players because I felt bad for them. Especially I think uh, who reached out to me. I think Bones Bones reached out to me. Uh, after I started this GM mode and said, uh, can I get inserted into it? And I said it was kind of too late. So I felt bad, so I essentially put both of these guys in there. So hope you guys have no problems with that. I'll try to keep doing my shitty overlays for both of these guys as uh, as the series goes on. But just as a note, Nikita Sherback is going to be played by Bones on Demand, and Aaron Ackblad is being played by Nasher61. So there's the little tidbit of uh, secretive information for you guys that didn't already know or didn't catch on to it, or maybe my edits were really that bad, and um, I couldn't really cover their names that well or the faces that well. But in any event... I just wanted to do that little special thing for you guys. Hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.